My girlfriend said a crazy thing to me. I haven't really figured out how to make this funny, but she said that in her experience, white men like to finger more than other races of men. It's a wild racial stereotype I've never heard before. I think it's because we, white guys, we imagine we're playing acoustic guitar down there. <laughs> We're just like, today is going to be the day that I'm maybe going to find your clip. <laughs> Let's see if we can turn this desert into an oasis. All right. <laughs> Pretty funny. That's these things wonderful. Red to put down the other. Pretty funny. The history here kind of makes you hate one type of foreigner. You know what I'm talking about. The British. <laughs> Does anyone else get really patriotic when they meet a British person? Whenever someone's like, I'm from Britain, I'm like, get the fuck out! We fought a war so we wouldn't have to hear that fucking shit anymore, dude. <laughs> get the fuck. I was with my British friend the other day, he's like, my back hurts, I need a massage. I'm like, learn the fucking language. <laughs> get in the fucking queue, dude, get out. Hot couple. You gotta be hot to wear all those necklaces. <laughs> You're wearing a guitar pick? What does it say on it? Uh, fly Me to the Moon. Fly Me to the Moon from Frank Sinatra? He's yeah, not even a guitarist. Guitar. He's not even a guitarist. <laughs> what the f What made you do that? She made, yeah, this fucking bitches, yeah. <laughs> she made me wear that around. She's like, I won't suck your dick unless you wear the Frank Sinatra thing. <laughs> I want you to look like such a fool, no one else wants to f you. <laughs> That's a good idea. You, did she make you wear that really long? Like, what do you call those? Like, puka shell necklace? Or, it's kind of like that. I don't know. Like, it's so big. It's like a big fat rosary. Yeah. Why? Why? What's that for? Runes. Runes? Yeah. Like Nordic runes? Yeah. Really? I'm Norse pagan. You're pagan? Yeah. Right before Easter, buddy. <laughs> You trying to stop Jesus from coming back. I get it. You trying to stop my Lord and Savior. Okay, okay. Y'all used to have the holiday. We took it over. You're trying to take it back. That bunny was our God. <laughs> How do you get into paganism? We kind of burned the books. I thought we burned all of you, too. Uh, <laughs> were you raised pagan? No, yeah, we were Christian. You were a Christian. And what, what deviated you to... Paganism. You didn't read the book closely enough, I'm guessing. Because uh, if you do, it's pretty damn good. Uh, it's a damn good book. Uh, you just went from one fairy tale to the other. You're just like, this one's a little too hard to believe. What about a guy with a big hammer? Uh, <laughs> man, I, get, I bet you guys have wild pagan sex. That's, do you do like is that a thing? Or is that that's propaganda? That's not what it's really about, is it? Yeah. When we get to Sheila's house, we'll do all <laughs> I think you're projecting, ma'am. <laughs> I think they're having a great time. They know if Odin wanted to, he could strike me down. And <laughs> is Ragnarok coming? That's the end, right? You think, is, is, there, is there like a prophesized time that's going to come? Supposedly, that already happened in the book. Oh, Ragnarok already happened. So we don't have to worry about anything then. That's kind of, you can just do whatever you want. The end's not coming anymore. We did it the wrong way. We're, we're always like, don't masturbate, the end's coming. <laughs> you guys are like, the end already happened. Keep going, you know? <laughs> I made that up right now in my mind. That was really clever. That was great. Look at this little Duck Dynasty in the back. I didn't even see you. Hell yeah, dude. You're watching, checking in on what the liberals are up to. I love it. I guess these liberals are pagan now. <laughs> He's going back to Frederick like they believe in Odin. <laughs> I bet you fucking hate Thanos, dude. <laughs> you have kids? Are you going to raise them? What are you going to raise them? You go in and you do like the Our Father at night and he comes in like, Odin will get you. Uh, <laughs> we do have to end, but I got like five minutes. You want sex or politics, James? What do you want? Sex. Sex, you little piggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's a little thing for your pagan ass. You don't have it before marriage. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. I wouldn't surprise. What? It has been 469. 
I like that accent. What's that accent? Lisa Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, what is that, Delco? <laughs> what is that, Eastern Shore? <laughs> No, it's uh, God's punishment. Uh, <laughs> my parents were Lutheran. They deserved it. Uh, <laughs> what, what was it? Which app? The League. The League? Yeah. What, what is that? You have to have a LinkedIn. You have to have a LinkedIn, which actually in this economy means a lot, honestly. Uh, <laughs> She's very tired of, of going on dates with men who had no jobs. <laughs> Classism. <laughs> It's classism, and she will perish when we revolt. Uh, sorry, the proletariat will not spare you, honey. Uh, the bourgeoisie blood will run through the streets. We all know it. Uh, you're tired of dating poor dudes? You ever thought about it's not their fault that they're poor? I was a teacher, so I needed You were a teacher? Oh, oh, so you're poor. And you know, you don't like to look at yourself in the mirror. All right, I get it. Yeah, you can't have can't have two pores making kids. That ain't right. That, ain't right. that is cool. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a lawyer. I, I defend against civil rights lawsuits. Against them? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. A little twist on an old classic. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know he still has a job? Man, you must have a lot of white guilt on the way home. Right? <laughs> so like you're defending against like when an employee's like, they fired me because I'm racist. You're like, actually, he says that word all the time. He calls, he calls everyone the N-word, not just you. <laughs> he calls his wife that, it's no big deal. <laughs> so you can't reveal any lawsuits you've done. You can't, it's like confidentiality. You couldn't say anything really. I'll say, uh, uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, don't edge me like that, dude. Don't get me fucking half cocked and then fucking leave the room. Do you really like history, man? You I majored in history. You may, I majored in history, too. What do you do now, though? Uh, work at a record store down the street. That's actually cool as shit. That's actually cool. Nice. One. You work? Okay, that's the first thing anyone's clapped for tonight. <laughs> None of my jokes, nothing, but he works at a record store. A history major who works in something that's about to be history, huh? <laughs> my favorite conspiracy theory, no offense, it's the Jewish, the, there's a specific Jewish one. Have you heard the space laser one? Yes. That one's crazy. Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks that Jewish people own space lasers that start forest fires. Isn't that a crazy thing to be a Christian and believe that? If I believed that Jewish people had space lasers, I'd be Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm joining the religion with space lasers. Uh, <laughs> isn't that crazy to be a Christian? Like, I believe in Jesus Christ, who's an omniscient God who can't defeat the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what type of law do you do? It could be even more evil. Yeah, I defend those people who dump chemicals on Amazonian tribes, man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, what type of law do you do? I do civil litigation, I do all sorts of things. All sorts of things, evil and good. <laughs> What's an evil thing you do? Okay, true, but what do you think is evil? This is how we learn who you are. I once I defended a trans person. Uh, <laughs> that one kind of ate me up inside. <laughs> I'm on the right side, so I don't think I do anything evil. Okay, that's a good way to look at life, okay. Yeah, that pedestrian shouldn't have been there. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Bring back the military draft, don't you think? We should all have to fight for our country, right? Still there. What? You still have to register on the draft. But we know we're not doing, you're right, we have to register, we're not doing the draft, are we? We're not in a war, so. Yeah. Well, we've been in a war for like 25 straight years. <laughs> we're kind of in an eternal war if you read Chomsky. Uh, <laughs> some would say it never ends because of the neoliberal consensus. Uh, <laughs> But that might be a little above your pay grade. <laughs> <laughs>